Hiya boys, welcome to Jaden Answers. My name is Jaden. This is the show where I answer all of Yahoo Answers. No, I'm kidding, that would take way too long. Uh, all this is is me answering at least three per episode, so uh, yeah. <laughs> Before I start, I'd just like to say that this show is very, very um, inspired by Jay Schlatt's The Weekly Slap. I really, really like it. Uh, and yeah, I just wanted to do a series which is kind of the same, and I don't really have the audience for people to send in submissions or that type of thing, so I decided that Yahoo Answers would be the place to go. Should my mother with no funeral be honored? My mother has left her lost wishes for a direct cremation, and then she wants a private burial. She doesn't want anyone at the cemetery other than a few people who need to be there. She doesn't want any kind of funeral or memorial service because she doesn't want family showing up that I don't get along with. Most of the extended family from my younger days is gone. All of my friends she used to have are all gone. Not too many people around who would even come. I have an uncle several states away, but he is in an assisted living facility, so no idea how he would even get here unless somebody brings him. I can understand her not wanting to be embalmed and having people come to visitation to view her body. I would like to invite some friends to come to the cemetery for the burial and possibly proceed with a memorial service. Would that be wrong? Short answer, yeah. Just, just a little bit. Um... I mean, I can get that you want some friends there for support and everything like that, but if it would the <laughs> sorry, but if it was uh your mom's lost wishes that uh no one was to show up to a uh, memorial service or anything like that, I feel like uh it would only be right if you didn't have people at the memorial, you know. It's her lost wishes, so, you know, it's kind of a big deal. Um and yeah, that's basically just my opinion on of it. Uh, if anyone else has any uh, other opinion, uh, please leave it in the ch comments, you know. But um, for me, I feel like that would be the reasonable answer. My boyfriend is pressuring me over the money I owe him. Me and my boyfriend have been together for nearly two years. He used to be generous with money. We used to go out and spend money on each other like nothing, as you should. Now he got greedy and he will keep account of how much money I owe him. I recently lost my job and had to borrow a hundred pounds from him that I said I'd give back. However, I always buy food for the fridge, provide him with my flat to chill at and cooked for him, and asked him if he could help with the sh food shopping of at least twenty pounds a week. And he started telling me how I owe him three pounds for food he got me one he once got me six pounds for an Uber and how he's adding it all up. When I tell him to make sure the fridge is stocked up. When he comes home, so he can have food to snack on while he's hungry, or when he's hungry, he tells me that he never asked me to. I know he hasn't asked me to, but I do it out of respect. He has a good paid job and no expenses as he lives at his mom's, and I found out he has been buying designer clothes, but he's keeping track of 100 pounds that I owe him. Meanwhile, I don't care if I spend my lost money on him. How do I how to deal with a person like this, what to say to them as I am losing patience. During arguments, he has been brining this up. I spend all my money on bills. I asked him to help me with at least 20 pounds, and he said I have a job to do it myself. Wow. Uh, that's a lot. That's a lot to deal with. Um, and I feel like that guy, you know, he's maybe he's not the right guy for you. Um, I know that may be hard to hear or whatever but you know that guy sounds kind of like a douchebag you know i mean if he has the money to help you then he should help you i believe and the fact that he isn't helping you is just kind of wrong you know if he has money and he knows that you're struggling then it's kind of wrong to not help you you know uh so maybe consider leaving him or at least having a serious conversation with him Accidentally hurt my GF. Can she have me arrested? She was chasing our son, saying she was going to beat his ass. We spank him, but she gets really harsh, sometimes just for little things like spilling water. My son was getting upset, so I tried to block her path so she couldn't snatch him up. I ended up bumping into her, and she lost her balance and hit her face on the door. She's got a bruise now. She was livid, telling me I hurt her. Livid, telling me I hurt her, and how awful I was, and unsupportive, etc. She left to go to her mom's, and now I'm afraid. I didn't mean to hurt her. 
can't you call the cops and have me arrested? Am I going to lose my son? I don't have any proof. It's my word against her word and the bruise on her face. She did not take him with her. He is here with me. I texted her to see if we could talk, but she hasn't responded. We have spoken over the phone and I gave her an ultimatum. She will not be contacting the police. I mentioned therapy and counseling for the both of us on our relationship and parenting. We are not married, so we can't divorce. But I told her that if she does not agree to counseling, I will file for full custody of our son. She started screaming at me and hung up. I'm going to wait and see if she contacts me again. To clarify, she has not always been like this. I love her very much, but these last few months, she's gotten angry and verbally abusive towards me. I was afraid to confront her, but seeing all of your answers have opened my eyes. Again, I did not hit her. I moved to get between her and our son and bumped into her. She slipped and bumped her head. She didn't fall to the floor. I'm simply afraid. I don't want to lose my son at all. I have friends who have lost rights to see their kids. This, one, uh, this one's rough. Um, so... I can't answer this from a real objective point because I'm 15 years old. I do not have children. Um, but it seems like children are worth hanging on to. So I recommend, you know, if it's a good relationship, then try working it out. But if that doesn't work, then fight for your child, you know. Um, and, yeah, sorry that you're going through that. Sometimes it can be a little hard. Um you know, during quarantine when everyone's up in their faces all the time or up in each other's faces all the time. It can get a bit rough, so just uh, hang in there. <laughs> so, gents, thank you so much for watching this one. I really, really appreciate it. And, yeah, if you guys enjoy this uh, this video, then let me know, and maybe I do another one. Uh, yeah, anyways, bye-bye, guys.